It's not like he's just playing chords, right? So we have all these different, we got like the, the rhythm guitar melody, the clean melody, the lead melody, and the vocal melody. Like that's too many melodies. Your ear can really only focus on like one or two things at a time. So that's why some of these decisions were made. Again, you know, no one that's just listening to this as a fan necessarily understands why. Uh, they're just like, oh man, I can't hear. There should be voice that guitar part. And you're like, well, it's not that important. That's why it's buried. You got to think strategically when you're mixing. You know, if like if I had a painting and every single detail of every piece popped out, you would be overwhelmed. You wouldn't know where to focus your eye. But a good painter knows where to put the lights. And, uh, you know, when you go to like an art gallery, you know, you walk around, you look at the painting, your eye automatically focuses on the part the painter looks like. It doesn't, the mountaintop, you know, may not be the most detailed, but that sun shining off that lake going down the streak of the middle of the mountain, that's what catches your eye. And you don't pay attention to the little tree details. Like they're there. If they weren't there, it would look weird. But, you know, the lake in the, you know, in the center part with the sun, that's the, in the reflection. That's where the painter wanted the eye to go. So you're doing the same thing with the listener's ear. You've got to focus them. So again, you know, some people uh, definitely get grouchy about those sorts of things. So let's take a look at the lead guitar now. I should have just deleted these because Ollie sucks. No, I'm just kidding. I like to make fun of Ollie. He's my guy. <laughs> you know, we, we have a good time. So, you know, again, if you can't have fun with your clients, like you're, you're missing out. So, all right, here's, the, here's what Ollie's terrible, shitty lead guitar... <laughs> <laughs> Love you, buddy. Sounds like too milky, too muddy. So I cleaned that up right there. Um, that's the frequency that really was kind of milky. Um, I compressed it with the SSL con. This is a John Brown thing. I think he had this thing on it. I would have L1'd it, but I was like, all right, this works. It sounds good. I'm not going to touch it. So again, it still needs EQ, but that's what I did. I just tightened it up a little bit. And then I was like, all right, let's get to this lead now and see if we can really make this thing slay. So first things first, we got a filter. I'm just notching out little milky frequencies. Um, I've got a limiter here. really make it in your face and now let's go eq shopping here we go so when i listen to this by itself it's way too broadband so first things first um i probably came in and cut this out thin it out thin it out some more Get rid of the harsh piercing shit. Now it's smooth on the ear. So before. We got this stereo delay right here. And I think um, God knows who set this up. Probably my assistant. This is like his, this looks like his doing. Um, I don't, I didn't, it never use sense. So. So he's got like a chorus before the delay. Yeah, yeah, it's like a lo fi chorus delay, which sounds sick. And then here's what, with the EQ off. Yeah, again, I just smoothed it out. Thin it out clean up the milkiness, smooth out the top. It just adds that nice epic reverb. Check it out. Or don't. Hold on. <laughs> and it just makes it nice and ambient and glues it all together. So every time that happens, I think he's got an octave here. Ollie, you even suck at playing that octave, bro. <laughs> He's going to kill me when he sees this. I love it. <laughs> I'll deal with him. All right. Um, yeah, same EQ. Same effect, right? Same ambience.
I like to use a lot of the same effects in a song because what happens is it kind of takes that, it elongates it and drags it, and it just kind of helps like the whole vibe um, gel and move together. All right, let's take a look at the lead here. Um, so we got this thing. And we are very similar. Yeah, very similar EQ. Um, Bring up the milky muddiness in there that I was hearing. A little bit less delay. Uh, thin it out, smooth it out. Pop it in the mix. You know, I like a lot of these leads super thin. This is just more for gain structure. I'm not even really limiting it here. But I really like a lot of these, um, like, I, I like to thin these lead guitars out because I don't want it to be super broad bad. Because, again, we got singing and stuff here, so it's just there to add, you know, to be like a lo-fi kind of thing in the background. Very much in support of what the main thing, and that to me is like the rhythm, the groove, the gent, you know. All right, let's take a look at Ollie's guitar solo here. He's got two mics. God, that's crazy EQ. Um, I'm trying to think what I was thinking when I did this. <laughs> Thin it out. Uh, I must have added this 1K boost because it probably sounded weird in the 57 and I needed one more, more 1K in the mix to get the thing to cut out a cut. So let's see if my theory is right. And here we go. Just turn the fader all the way up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, we'll take a look at this. Compressing it like I'd, I'd usually use a limiter there. Um, cut out 1K. I love that I can hear that screwed up crossfade. You can't you can't fool eagle ears over here. I'm gonna tell them. I love it. Okay, so now I got more limiting on this because you know that's what I like to do. A ton of EQ. At this point, I, I, what I'm doing when I'm EQing is usually I try to make things sound good by themselves, and then I get them in the mix, and then I take my last EQ stage to kind of like tone shape it where it needs to be. Um, okay, so same kind of thing here. I probably my brain was like, get rid of the mud. <laughs> Make it listenable. <laughs> See how much that full bandwidth, it's just got too much frequency information. It just totally slays the whole mix. And now you can hear the bottom, you know, the guitar, it's a bam, 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 the dubs, you know, it's nice and clean. And how are you gonna groove if you can't hear the groove because the lead guitar is pissing all over it? So we got a couple more effects sends. We're using our delay send here. Let's see what kind of crazy, 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 crazy stuff uh, my assistant set up here. So um, we got a mono solo. This is on a 16th. This is super tight. Yeah, almost like a uh, bathroom effect. That's cool. Then let's see this reverb. Big reverb, a little bit of limiting on it. I think we got some EQ. Same EQ that's on all the effects sends. Almost. And um, here's what they all sound like. Now Ollie stops sounding like a wanker and more like Steve Vai. <laughs> I'm so mean today. I love it. 
time dude this is, this is a lot of love um this is the exact same lick joe satriani used on the song the motorcycle driver listen to this tapping lick go pause it and listen to the motorcycle driver on the record the extremist by joe satriani and there's like a lick right in the middle of the solo that's the, almost the exact same i was like dude he ripped the he's like i've never heard that song and i'm like bro and i sent it to him he's like dude no way and i'm like bro and he's like bro and i was like Quit being such a wanker. <laughs> so, so there you go. Now you know. Now you can make fun of him, and he won't get the joke, and he'll be mad at me, and it'll be really funny. So, um, <laughs> all right. I'm having fun today. You know, you just let me have my fun.